Irish people and Puerto Rican people, same fucking people, my name. <laughs> so, both from islands. Mm. Both have been shit on for generations. <laughs> both love potatoes. Fuck! <laughs> Y'all been to a Puerto Rican bakery and got a potato ball? Yes. No, no, maybe not you, but like uh, <laughs> other people who are not as, you know. What's the size of a potato ball? Somebody yell it out. Me. Me. Imagine the first Irish motherfucker who bit into a Puerto Rican potato ball <laughs> and found out it was a shepherd's pie to go. Boosh. <laughs> they lost their fucking mind, yo. They lost their mind, they found out that they were brothers and sisters, got together and built Holyoke. That's, you know, that's not the origin story for Holyoke, it should be, bro. Let's keep this shit going. Put your hands together right now for the one and only CW Dave People out of this motherfucker. Hell yeah. <laughs> Just make a motherfucker feel good, why don't you? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Y'all give it up for Buddha Joe. Uh, Buddha Joe talking about you. So Buddha Joe said you got, you got, you got, how many? You got Ecuadorian and Puerto Rican, Colombian. God damn, yo. When Buddha Joe fart that shit so. Que bonito bandera. Que bonito bandera. I'm like, yo, that motherfucker got everybody in that shit. <laughs> That motherfucker is a whole goddamn party by himself. <laughs> that shit crazy as hell. You know how crazy I was like, yo, do you know how crazy that shit would be to see everybody show up? <laughs> All in one van? Like, goddamn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, I love the fact y'all came out here to see some comedy. I'll make a motherfucker feel, feel like Michael Jackson out there. Uh, Michael Jackson fans in here, hell yeah. yeah. That's what I'm, yo, y'all remember, like, yeah. Mike, ain't nobody else can perform better than Michael Jackson. Yeah. I don't care what nobody say. That motherfucker pop out the floor and boom. Okay. Stand in for 20 minutes. <laughs> and don't do shit. <laughs> the whole front crowd dead. Uh. I'm like, how is this man standing still and everybody passing the fuck out. <laughs> like, yo, can you imagine bringing that person to the show at the beginning of the show? He popped out the floor and you immediately passed the fuck out. <laughs> can you imagine that shit? Like, yo, and then the security, like, they running back and forth, people getting picked up and shit like that. Can you imagine the security <laughs> guard picking him up and be like, yo, was that, are you with her? Are you with the couple that you like? <laughs> 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 I don't know that bitch. Move her, move her, move her. Yeah, take that bitch. Take, 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 take. Like, yo, like, yo, I would be so fucking mad that they gotta pull me over the bar, too, and shit like that. I gotta watch Michael Jackson from way the fuck back here. I'm like, yo, see, we missing a goddamn concert, you stupid <laughs> heifer. Why I bring you out here? You stupid ass. Like, he doing the lean, he doing the lean right now with his smooth criminal and shit like that. I can't see him. Bitch, he doing Thriller. This about to be the end of the goddamn concert. <laughs> he fly off and shit like that with a little jetpack thing, remember that shit? He would take, he would take off and everything, a little jetpack, he fly around the fucking concert and shit and everything. And then all of a sudden, now she wake the fuck up. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna choke you on the way home, bitch. You won't die. You won't die. You know, and I realized one thing I was saying, I was like, yo, my ignorant ass will be the bitch that fainted. <laughs> the whole fucking time, you will you be ready to kill me at the end of this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like he's shaking his head like absolute. <laughs> Spent all this damn money, stand outside for three years just to see this concert and shit like that. You won't die at the beginning, no. I'm gonna kill you on the way to home. Bitch. That's some ignorant shit. And I realize ignorant people rule the motherfucking world now. They rule the world. Anybody else hate this shit when you sitting at a fucking red light and the person in front of you not paying attention Yo. and the shit go green oh my God. and they don't move. So you politely go toot toot on your horn. Oh. I'll be goddamn this shit happened to me the other day. I wanted to beat the shit out of this person, okay? <laughs> I said toot toot gently, just like that. You know, and I got big hands too, so that takes some practice. Toot toot, you know what I'm saying? And this motherfucker longhorn beat back at me from in front. And looked in the rear of the mirror like this. 
<laughs> Bitch, if I wasn't a f if I would have my gun on me, I'd have shot your tires out like fucking James Bond or some shit like that, you simple bastard. I would have come over and beat your fucking ass. You gonna long or beat back at me like you was doing something important at the red light, ho. Get the fuck out of my motherfucking way. For real, like you know what I mean? That's probably what the fuck she was doing, Mr. Man. She was probably texting like a motherfucker. For real, like you sitting up there, get the fuck out my way and shit like that. I got shit to do. God damn, like yo, for real, in the people every fucking way. I don't know, anybody else in here watch the news, or is news got too much bad news on it for people to be watching? Right, because you know, we if we weren't human, we like, you know what I'm saying, like, we need bad news in order to like make shit happen in this motherfucking world, you know what I mean? And I was watching this shit the other day, and it was some bad news. This pastor was up there preaching, and people, and it was in Brooklyn, and people walked in there, there was armed assailants and shit like that, and they robbed the pastor. They brought these ignorant motherfuckers, robbed the pastor, everybody pray, everybody bow your head. Nope. Will a man rob God? We bought two, motherfucker! <laughs> And they made this man get on the floor. They put the gun in his white face. They was patting him down and shit like that with a gun and everything and shit. I was like, this some fucked up shit. But then I heard the most ignorant shit after that too. The pastor said, these motherfuckers robbed me of $1 million in jewelry. I said, pastor, how the fuck you got $1 million in jewelry on in the middle of fucking church? What is you doing with a million dollars worth of jewelry on? motherfucking collections every goddamn Sunday. You're wearing it, bitch. That's some bullshit. Hell no. Hey, yo, like shit, I would have ran outside after them niggas. Like, yo, let me get some of that shit with your ass, nigga. Come on. Hey, little motherfucker. But I realized one thing, though. Like, anybody here got kids? Yep. Any kids here? Yeah, yeah, look how, look how, look how crazy that shit sounds. Like, yeah, I got a baby. <laughs> 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 them motherfuckers ignorant too. And you wanna know why they ignorant? Because they know they can get away with certain shit. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like when a child is talented and they know they can get away with shit, they, they become real ignorant. Look how she looking. You better not get her pregnant because she gonna kill that baby. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, she might. You reminded me of Wicked Witch of the West with that black on you. <laughs> For real. But ain't there babies and anything, and I get to thinking and shit like that. I be smoking and shit and get to thinking. You know the most ignorant child had to be Jesus. Oh, oh God. Don't lose me now. Watch. Think about it like this. Jesus, nine years old. And he know he can walk on water and his mama can't swim. <laughs> I'm fucking up at the foot of my butt. Come catch me. Yeah. I'm in the middle of the land, don't you? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm gonna go get your father. Go get him. <laughs> and then here comes Joseph. Okay. Jesus! What did your mother tell you? She said she gonna come get me, but she can't swim. So ha 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 ha. It was like, yo, you better bring your ass up in here, Jesus. Don't make me come out there and shit like that. You not even my real daddy, so shut up. <laughs> Ignorant. Ignorant. I don't give a fuck. Some other ignorant shit. Managers at work. The most ignorant bastards ever. How you gonna wait all shift and I'm getting ready to clock out? Okay? And you gonna come ask me. My figure right here. <laughs> This is real right here. You want some extra hours? No. <laughs> I will shoot this shit the fuck up. <laughs> Bitch, I'm going the fuck home. No, you have to stay. It's mandatory overtime. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's some bullshit. So you know what's the crazy shit I ever thought about, right? Smoking again. 
the most one peaceful song that let people know I'm going to work, but I'm ready to go home was created back in the day, and a lot of y'all know this shit. Y'all can sing it with me. Y'all ready to sing a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> song will like this. Dale! Oh, hey. Dale! Sounds so peaceful. Woo. Right there. They like come at me one go. Can you imagine if that motherfucker got angry as shit at his manager at that moment? <laughs> that would be a whole different motherfucking song. Hey, I'm pussy! Yo, come, Mr. 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 Come